All right. What is up, you guys? For those of you who don't know, I'm going, I've been called to serve a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, and I am getting ready for that. And I still have a lot of things to get or more like, I don't know what else I need to get in order to go. So um, that's what today's video is gonna be is I have everything I have packed and I'm gonna just pull it out. I'm gonna like just organize it so I see exactly what I have and what I don't have. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna be doing with you today. And I'm going to be telling you where I got these things, about how much they were, and then um, a lot of the things I feel like I can film, but like I won't know 100% if they're good things until my mission. So when I come back from my mission in April 2020, I will be letting you know, um, based on the products that I took with me, if they were good or not, um, and what I would recommend if I had to buy something new or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure that out. So how about we get started? So I've been preparing um, and just gathering a whole bunch of things and I've been gathering things for years now honestly Because um, I knew I've always wanted to serve a mission and so as I got older and the time became closer I just started buying things That I thought would work and some of those things actually don't or some of those things I wore out <laughs> um, But I do have a large collection of possible items I'm bringing with me and those items that I'm not bringing with me either I've donated or I'm putting in a storage or I'm giving to my sister who was going to school up north also so it's gonna be really cold for her so whatever I'm not bringing with me she's gonna take with her so I think I'm just gonna get started with my shoes I shoes I think um, at least for this part I'm gonna be talking about I guess shoes and socks I have a lot of items here and I'm just gonna, I guess, go with what I have right now. Um, I will start with my church shoes, I guess. So I have two pairs of church shoes. For the record, I bought a lot of things and I don't think all of them are coming with me, which I think I just said, but um, I have two pairs of church shoes. Basically these I'm gonna use strictly for church um, or for going to conference or meetings and things. I'm not gonna wear these proselyting unless something happens. Um, this is the Anna shoe. It is just a ballet flat and honestly, like watch. Can you see that? It is the comfiest shoe I've ever gotten and I lucked out. I got this at JCPenney. I lucked out getting it on sale. Um, me and my friend all got them both and we always wear them to church. And then I got this actually from Walmart. And But this is the Earth Spirit shoe and again, it's really cushy and it's got a nice... Um, base and stuff and these straps I like because they tighten and they fit perfectly on my foot and keep my foot secure in there because like I said my feet are pretty skinny so they kind of just fall out of shoes um I have two proselyting shoes and they're both black I'm not a very super colorful person I I literally typically wear neutrals and then maybe one splash of color so I have a pair of black shoes these are Clark's um, I had heard good reviews and recommendations from people to get Clarks because they are made for business and for walking around so it's got like a nice sole and it um, should be pretty waterproof, water resistant I believe this one is um, and it's got a nice cushy sole and so they're not the prettiest but they are comfortable. They were expensive so I have to wear them a lot or I'm gonna be very angry. And then I got these, and I love these shoes. I got these actually off of Amazon. They are the Echo Echo shoes. I don't know. Um, I love these shoes. They are, I got, they have different colors, but I got the gray, like the ashy tone one, so it's black and gray. And it has this nice elastic here, and again, with my foot being so skinny, it typically falls out of shoes super easily, or they're really baggy on them. And so this holds it in really nicely, and it does have a nice professional look. I actually wore these um, yesterday to work and I got compliments on them, so there you go. So I have a pair of Hunter rain boots. I don't know if I'm going to bring them or not. Um, it depends on how much room I have in my suitcase. Oh, these are my two boots. I love boots. I wear boots all the time. I love booties. Um, oh, and inside I have Dr. Scholl's insoles. I have a um, memory foam one in here and I have a gel one in here love them they kind of make my shoes a little too small because you know they're thick but i still love them okay so this is the soda shoe again i bought this off of amazon 
but um, my sister actually bought it the exact same pair five years ago from Tilly's and I loved those shoes. They're too small for me, um, but I always would squeeze my foot in there because I loved those shoes so much. So I bought my own and it took a while to find them, but I found them slightly different than the original ones that my sister got um, the bases in as a rubbery, but I also feel like it'll become better the more I wear it and the more used it becomes. And it's water resistant, which I love which is going to be great. Um, and then I also got this one. This is a dance go shoe, so it was pretty expensive. Um, but I love them. This one is not waterproof. I'm going to have to put waterproofing on it. Um, but it's so comfortable and so durable. And it's just, it's a good shoe. And it's a good color. And I love it. And I've been wanting it forever. Specifically for one outfit I have. Um, so I'll be wearing this one a lot. But those are my shoes, so yes, I have a lot of pairs of shoes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a pair of rain boots. Um, and but I think I think we'll be okay. Okay, so then I also got these. This came in a two-pack, so I'm taking one and my sister's taking one. But these are fleece inserts, so it's just really soft and warm and fuzzy so it's supposed to be like put in your shoes during the winter to help keep your feet warm i don't know how cold it is where i'm going i've looked up things and they've said not that cold and i've seen things where it says very cold um so we'll find out when we get there i grew up in southern california so i honestly have no idea um i have way too many pairs of socks i love socks i love cute socks i love fun socks i literally wear these pair, this pa these pair, these pairs, this pair of skunk socks, like, once a week. So I have a bunch of socks, and they're not all coming with me, but they're cute. They've got llamas, and they have sloths, and panda bears. I don't like the panda bears that much. And then these are like a, it feels like a towel, honestly, on the inside. But these are really nice and fuzzy and warm, so I'll be wearing those. Um, and then this came in a pack. There's another one that comes with it, but I don't know where that went. Um, and that was from Target. This came in also a pack of three, just like the white ones, also from Target. These fuzzy socks, super. they're long and fuzzy and they're cute. They're so soft. Like, I could just use it as a pillow, honestly. So soft. Um, these were a gift from my aunt. So these are double, double layered socks, so it's like a sock within a sock all in one and I have two of these um both of which were gifts so I don't know where they got them but they're really comfortable and adorable and then these socks um came in a three pack and they're nice they're knit they're thick um and these were from Kroger and then I have a pack of no shows so they came with two blacks two tans and two whites um and that is everything having to do with socks and shoes so anyway thanks for watching this video uh stay tuned i'm going to be talking about hats gloves leggings i guess layers i'll talk about layers next